All right, what is up, my brothers? In this video, I want to talk a little bit about sports, playoffs, and uh, just uh, watching sports in general, you know? I was sitting in the uh, sauna the other day, and an older gentleman uh, came in, sat down beside me, and he opened with, so did you catch the game last night? And I gotta tell you something, guys, like this, like this grinds my gears a little bit because I'm the guy that's always preaching about chasing excellence, not women, and you know, making a good use of your time and making something out of yourself. And I didn't know what he was talking about. So for me personally, I've never talked about this on the channel. I don't watch sports or very little of it. I mean, there's the odd uh, playoff that I might watch or generally speaking, I'll catch like a World Cup or a Euro Cup. I'm not a big fan of watching sports for this very simple reason is that you're essentially watching other men chase excellence. Like one of the things that's so bizarre to me um, is when I see my dad and my younger brother talk for hours about English Premier League soccer. I'm from the UK, you know, my dad lived there, you know, pretty much for most of his life. And my little brother uh, went to university there and, and spent a good part of his years there as well. So he's very familiar with the culture and, you know, football is a big part of that for people in the UK. And, you know, he, like he sometimes makes the odd uh, comment, and, you know, in passing about money and wealth and sort of thing you know, when it comes to stuff like that. And I just kind of look at him like, dude, the reason why you, we both drive British cars. Uh, I go, the reason why you drive a Jag and I have a McLaren is because of how I spend my time and where I allocate it. So back to the guy in the uh, sauna, you know, talking about, did you catch the game last night? I don't know what he's talking about. I said, what game are you talking about? He's like, Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh, okay. Why, well, you know, what's going on? Are they in the playoffs or something? Again, I'm totally oblivious to this. I don't watch sports. It's not my thing. I don't feel like it's a good use of my time. And he's, you know, he talks about it a little bit. And it, to which I respond, listen, I understand some people, you know, enjoy that, but I don't watch sports. And he was flabbergasted. Like he was like, oh, really? Like why? Like, you know, uh, you know, your wife doesn't let you. I'm like, I just started laughing. I'm like, dude, you don't know me. I'm like, uh, I don't have a wife, uh, you know, and I don't watch sports regardless. I mean, maybe that's why some guys spend so much time watching sports is because they want to get away from their wife and they need the escape. And he's like, yeah, maybe that's probably it. Like I start going on a little bit of a rant. I'm explaining to this guy and there was two other guys that started to chime in as well that were in there. And I'm like, I don't understand it when people will spend time and money to buy an expensive jersey, put it on their back, and wear the name, the last name of some other dude on their back, right? Like, to me, that's that's weird. I mean, it's weird, not in the same sense, but kind of in the same way that I say, like, you know, raising another man's child is weird, you know, like cuckoldry sort of thing, like, you know, dating or marrying single moms. It's kind of weird, right? And you kind of have that underlying feeling. It's like, you know, they get all excited. It's like, we won, we won. It's like, did you? Did you really? Like, did you play the game? You know, like you're wearing another man's uh, name on your back with their expensive jersey, watching them chase excellence when you should realistically probably be doing some of that yourself. So it brings me to the next point to which I started to discuss with this older uh, portly gentleman where I said to him, I go, do you think athletes, I said, who's the, who's the most prolific Maple Leaf player right now? Because I don't know you know who the hell he is. I think he said Matts or Matthew or something like that. I said, do you think that guy watches sports? Do you think that he watches curling, football, tennis, anything like that? Or do you think he's busy training, dealing with his physiotherapist? I mean, he's probably maybe studying some of the other players and how they play, looking for weak spots, um, you know, how they approach certain angles. Like, he maybe studies that. Maybe he watches that. I go, but do you think that he watches casually sports? To which he answered, no. And everybody else kind of looked at me and said, you know what, you're kind of right. And that's the point that I'm just trying to make, guys. There's 24 hours in a day, and... You know, we can either educate ourselves or be entertained. And you decide what you want to do with your day. Hey, maybe you're going to hate this video and be like, Rich, I'm unsubscribing. I don't think you're do it. Whatever. I don't care. Unsubscribe, fuck. Like, the point that I'm making, though, is you only have 24 hours in your day. You only have so many weeks and so many months in your life and so many years. And it's finite. You'll never get more time. And you get to make a choice every day as to whether or not you want to spend it, you know, doing something that's productive 
that is good for you, that is good for your family, is good for your wealth, you know, you're talking money sort of thing, or are you just gonna sit around, zone out, you know, eating Cheetos, getting Cheeto dust on your shirt and your beard and shit, watching other guys chase excellence? I know what I wanna do, right? I wanna do it myself. I've, I've never been a fan of sitting around watching, you know, athletes chase excellence. I'll watch um, documentaries or interviews with um, entrepreneurs and investors talking about chasing excellence themselves so I can educate myself and get myself up to speed. But I'm not an athlete. I'm not going to compete in, you know, uh, championship hockey or football or anything like that. It's just strange to me. Um, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm an independent. I don't know. You know, there's not much out there as far as sporting that I'll watch. A little bit of Formula One from time to time. You know, I can, I can get into that. Oddly enough, I've always been more interested in like one-on-one -on -one sort of competition rather than group competition. Um, group competition's good. Competing, like guys, like straight up, no lie, competing is good. You want to compete as a guy. It's incumbent upon you. It's important to compete. It's, a, it's important to win. But competing is not sitting around watching playoff games. It, it just isn't. I'm sorry to tell you, but that's not the best use of your time. Anyway, I just wanted to, you know, turn on the camera and hit that rant because I was just thinking about it. You comment below, let me know what you think, right? Am I right? Am I wrong? Uh, below in the top pinned comment, there's stuff for my book, my community, booking me for coaching, all that stuff. You can go check out all the links. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.